Hi everyone. Welcome to today's video. This was filmed on Friday, November 11th, which is Veterans Day in the USA. So if you are a veteran, thank you so much for your service. And also thank you to everyone who made um, comments after my about what you like to see. And I got a lot of really nice responses on the things I presented and then a lot of people also told me about this in general things they liked and I really appreciate that and um, I think I have the nicest group of followers. <laughs> I don't know, that's probably not true but Sometimes I see other comments on other channels and not everybody's always super nice. So um, I just really appreciate all of you. And when you comment, it really makes me feel good. Like people are really watching and um, it's just more of a connection when I, see, when I get a comment and because otherwise, I just see numbers, you know, like X number of people viewed this or X number of people, whatever. And but when there's a comment, it's like a personal connection. So uh, I just wanted to let you know I really appreciate a lot when, when you guys uh, make a comment, even like a short, really short one is nice. Just uh, anyway. So today, I thought, since it's kind of cold out, I thought it would be a good idea to do a cookbook. It's something about the autumn always makes me think of cooking, and a couple of you did um, say that you liked the cookbook idea from last time. So before that, I just want to show you my little uh, basket here. This is little fruit basket for autumnal decoration. <laughs> These are really nice apples. I forget what uh, variety. I think they might be Bray Burns. I'm not sure. But also, I made these little rolls today and um, actually I started them last night and then put the dough in the fridge to rise overnight and then they didn't rise really high today, but they have uh, chia seeds and it's a mixture of regular flour, whole wheat flour, and a little bit of rye flour, and a little bit of sourdough starter that in there as well. So it's kind of a hodgepodge experimental. But I may have um, told you this before, but if you're like, wanting to try bread, but you're afraid to. The, a lot of the books and things make it sound a lot more difficult or complicated than it is and really um, it's not. So you can just throw in, you know, almost whatever you want as long as you put some yeast in. Don't kill the yeast, I'm not too hot. Your liquids can't be too hot because you don't and then the variety of flowers. Um, if you wanted to, I don't know about gluten-free baking. Um, so if you're interested in that, I definitely would recommend reading about that. Um, but for regular, if gluten's not an issue, just make sure you have some enough flowers with gluten in it, because that's what will get you the. Uh, raising and elasticity. So I haven't tried them yet. They just came out of the oven about a half hour ago. So I'll put those over here. And this is a book I showed you last time. I got it from a little free library. It's um, Weight Watchers New Complete Cookbook. Over 500 
delicious recipes for the healthy cook's kitchen. This came out in 10 years ago. It's copyright 2012. I have never done Weight Watchers. I know it's a popular program, so I'm not advocating that or anything by any means. I don't really know that much about it, but um, I just like cookbooks of all kinds. So this is a, this kind of binding, which I can keep forgetting what it's called. It's not really spiral bound. There's a name for this kind of binding, but it's nice because it can lie flat. If you're cooking, then it's, you can easily refer. So I probably will skip over the meat sections just because I don't like those sections. <laughs> um, but there's lots in here that's not meat based. So these are the table of contents. Introduction, new basics, breakfast and brunches, starters and light meals, salads, sides and main dishes, soups, starters and main dishes, um, vegetarian main dishes, vegetable sides, green and bean sides, slow cooker classics, pizza, calzone and sandwiches. He spreads quick breads and muffins, cakes, pies, and more. Fruit and frozen desserts, puddings, and sauces. And then an index. So this is over 400 pages. I don't think we'll look through every page today. This is an introduction, talks about the Weight Watchers and how the program was developed. Um, it says they've been going for 45 years. They have this Points Plus program, which I think they may have dropped the points now. I'm not quite sure, but I think I heard that. ingredients for losing weight. Sustained weight loss comes not just from taking a holistic view of food, but also from taking a holistic view on healthy living in general. That's why our program also includes physical activity, behavioral changes, and a supportive atmosphere. So meetings are the supportive atmosphere. Recipes. Includes section on shopping, preparation, measuring. And they have a little um, guide to tell you if it's a basic or intermediate or an advanced recipe. This is the new basics section. And this has things like um, not really meals, but extras, like it's got salsas, relish, chutneys, um, seasonings, pastes, dressings, different kind of sauces. There's a section on kitchen tools. Must-haves. Okay, here you go. You ready? You must have for your kitchen. Got a box grater, can opener, 
a citrus reamer, a colander, cool and racks, cutting board, instant read thermometer, kitchen shears, kitchen timer, three types of knives. We've got a paring knife, chef's knife, and a serrated knife. Ladle, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a whisk, mixing bowls, they recommend glass or stainless steel. I actually have glass and stainless steel, but I like the glass much better. Stainless steel, it's noisy. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> uh, pastry brush, potato mashers, rolling pin, salad spinner. I don't know if that's essential, but anyway. Uh, sieve or sieve, flour sifter, basically slotted spoon, spatulas, spring-loaded tongs, swivel-plated vegetable peeler, and wooden spoons. So that's a lot of essentials. I think you could probably start cooking without all of these things. I didn't have a lot of these things for a long time. I still don't have some of them. I think I have most of them now, actually. So, here is nice to have, so we'll stress. A fat separator, well now that sounds weird. Garlic press, I have one, but I don't use it. If I'm gonna do garlic, I just smash it with the knife. Um, or mince it. Uh, mandoline, which is a vegetable slicer. I have one of those, but I don't use it that much. Pastry blender. That's actually nice if you like doing pie crusts or things like that. And a rasp grater. Like these two things, these last two things. I have gotten just this in the last couple of years. And oh, now we have a pantry. Use these charts as a guide to storing staples safely. If a food doesn't have a sell-by date, affix a label to the package and mark the date you bought it so you'll know when it's past its prime. So this actually lists a, like a pantry item, how long they recommend storing it, and any storage tips. So like, for instance, canned beans, brown rice, pasta, barley, oats, whole wheat, dried beans, lentils, honey, maple syrup, molasses, two years. Wow. That's a long time. Flour, mm, sugar, all different kinds of sugar. Baking powder and baking soda, unsweetened cocoa, chocolate chips, and nuts. Refrigerator staples, pickles, olives, capers, salsa. Hmm. One month opened. If you open a salsa, keep it in the fridge not longer than a month. That seems a little long to me, but mustard, ketchup, only three months refrigerated. No, we sometimes have mustard in for a long time. I did not know that. Uh, mayonnaise, soy sauce, Worcestershire, jams and jellies, six months, tortillas, two months. Mm. This is interesting. And then staples for your freezer. Hmm. The 
most of my good meat, so I'm not going to leave those uh, frozen fruits and vegetables. My thoughts. There's a section on food safety. Shop wisely. Prep smart. Clean up. On board the safely. Minimum safe cooking temperatures. And this is uh, measuring. How to measure dry ingredients, butter, liquids, brown sugar, spices, herbs, citrus zest, and extracts. Now we've got to the recipe. So this is still in the basic section. Our tomato sauces. All different kinds, roasted tomato, basil sauce, barbecue sauces, pesto. It's pretty easy to make your own pesto. If you like pesto, it's kind of expensive to buy. But as long as you have a, like a mini prep, like a mini um, food processor, or a regular size food processor. I think you could even do it in a blender, actually. Um, but if you don't have a food processor, I suggest getting... Um, they have these little mini ones. I have one called Mini Prep Plus. But really, I almost as, can use it for pretty much everything. I have a big one, but my sister's borrowing it right now, and I haven't needed it in like a couple of years. It, and it's a lot less expensive to get the mini ones and it takes up a lot less space. You can like chop up nuts in there or make the pesto. You can make hummus, which is also really easy to make your own. So that's my recommendation for today. <laughs> if you want to fool around with making different things but don't have a food processor, look for a mini one. And I think you really like it. Let's see, yeah. chimichurri sauce. Oh, I've had that recently, it's really good. This one has parsley, cilantro, fresh basil, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and a pickled jalapeno pepper. More parsley than cilantro, but It's just really flavorful and adds a nice um, little twist. This raita sauce, also used in Indian foods, with yogurt and cucumber. It's a green sauce, tartar sauce, mango, black bean salsa. Sounds pretty good. There's some nice. Nice photographs in this book. I always look for nice photos in a cookbook, otherwise I'm just not that interested in it. <laughs> There's some more chutneys, different marinades. You can marinate, um, like if you're a vegetarian, you can marinate tofu, um, tempeh, Um, mostly you marinate tofu, you squeeze all the water out or put it in a low oven to dry out for an hour or so, then you don't have to do the squeezing. Um, it takes all kinds of marinades. Here's some dry rugs.
is fun, it's like a fun project to do together in your family or something, and really tasty and, and easy as well. Here's a breakfast pizza. Tomato parmesan. Oh, these are good. Crepes in the rolled up. Crepes you can f um, put different fillings inside. Greek pita pizzas with spinach and feta. That sounds good. Chopped spinach. Feta cheese, non flatbreads, cherry tomatoes, garlic scallions, olive oil, oregano. Yum, yum. This is their starters and light meal section. Includes guacamole, hummus, baba ganoush. Baba ganoush is made with. Plant primer and tahini. Roasted red pepper dip. That sounds really good. I love roasted red peppers. My grandmother was Italian. She used to roast her own red peppers and she, she had a um, gas stove and she put it on low and then she put the peppers right on the burners. And um, outside skin would just get totally charred and she'd like flip them over with tongs and it didn't take that long, a few minutes. And then um, to put them in a paper bag and let them sort of steam a little bit and then once it's cool enough, the charred uh, skin just peels off and you can um, cut them open and scrape out the seeds and they're really delicious. They do it in a broiler pan, cut in half. So there's different ways to do it, but that's the way she did it. Hmm, let's do it. chickpea cakes. That sounds pretty good. Spanakopita, I love that. Spinach cheese. Roasted vegetable croissant. Caramelized garlic toast. White bean brisket. Pepper and tomato stuffed eggplant rolls. Okay. Salads. There's a Greek island. I love Greek salads. Beet, apple, and water. Baby romaine with clementines and pecans. Watermelon peach with ricotta salad. Okay, interesting stuff. Salad niçoise. I've heard of that, but I don't know if I've ever had it. Looks like it. It's got a lot of fishy stuff in it. Potato salad. I like um, Italian style potato salad. I'm sorry. I love it. 
my grandmother and my mom would make. Um, n it's no mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is very American version, but Italian way is with um, she'd make green beans and potatoes, and it's just like olive oil vin and vinegar with some. Um, I like to put dill, or you can put fresh basil or oregano. And the salt and pepper is really yum, yum, yum. Oh, and a little thinly sliced red onion. Taboule. I like taboule. Wheat. Primavera. I love pasta salads. This one has broccoli florets, mm -hmm. cauliflower florets, cherry tomatoes, red onion. I like to put olives, like Greek olives, in pasta salad, maybe some shredded carrots. Oops. Watercress is an under, underappreciated vegetable. I kind of like it. I know it. It's, it's just little, little greens, but they have a nice flavor. Chinese noodle soup. Tofu burgers, tofu stir fry. Marinated veggie kebabs, tempeh sweet onion and mushroom chili. Chili, that's another great winter thing to make in your slow cooker or just on this 
stove too. Stir fry. Stuffed cabbage. Bean stew. Chickpea and vegetable tagine. There's spinach and bean burritos. vegetable lasagna. Oh yeah, I did a cooking video, didn't I? I did a cooking video with veggie lasagna. If you want, if you're interested, go find that. I made it, I don't know, maybe a year ago or something. A lot of pasta dishes, rice dishes. Polenta. That's not too hard to make either. Make it in the oven. Um, spring vegetable risotto. Same thing with risotto. Falafels. Portobello mushrooms. She's just looking at me. She's hungry. Spaghetti <laughs> squash with broccoli and so I would say these are these are okay. These recipes are not super inspired, but then it's not vegetarian cookbook. But they're decent. They're decent recipes. Vegetables, Sahai dishes. slow cooker section. Alright, so got grains and beans, different kinds of pilafs, gratins, risottos, rice and peas, it's slow cooker. It looks like your slow cooker recipes are mostly meat base but remember you can substitute pretty much any meat with for your tofu or in the related seitan different things mm. so most of the served as a side dish to complement a buffet of Indian foods. So you can get it in a little cup, but sometimes just having a big bowl of it with a nice chunk of bread is really delicious. You can use red lentils, the tiny little, um, or the mung bean dolls. If you go into an Indian grocery, 
there's like a gazillion types of um, little um, beans that they use for dolls. Pizza, calzone, and sandwich. mozzarella and fresh basil leaves. This one has red onion, garlic. Sometimes they put, uh, yeah, this one they have the tomatoes too. But you can leave off. Dad, Dad doesn't like the tomatoes. But Yeast breads, quick breads, and muffins. This is my favorite section, I think, because I love making different kinds of breads. Tomato herb bread, honey wheat crescent rolls, focaccia, holiday stolen. I have never tried making a German stolen. Thought to have originated in the city of Dresden in 1474. At that time, in preparation for Christmas, the use of milk and butter was forbidden, making stolen heavy and somewhat tasteless. In Dresden today, there are 150 bakers designated as official stolen. That's tricky to make yourself to, to really have it come out authentic. You can make a version of it, but if you haven't had panettone ever, it's a sweet Italian bread with a heavenly aroma. And the, the way the real bakers make it is like a two day. You can get a, you know, an Italian deli or something. Nowadays, they're more common. You can get it sometimes grocery stores have them. Trader Joe's, you know. You used to not see them very often, but they're more common now. And you can um, slice it. I like to toast it a little bit, but you don't have to. Sticky bun. Here's the quick breads, cornbread, banana applesauce, cranberry orange bread, carrot pecan, buttermilk blueberry corn muffins, whole grain breakfast muffins. Now there you go. Something to try on Sunday. Whole wheat flour, all purpose flour, sugar, toasted wheat, your baking powder. Salt, oat milk or almond milk, canola oil, and egg replacer. Baking powder biscuits. Orange and savory. 
Fruits, 